This week, it's story time, and we're going to be talking about bluefish. What's up, fish fans? My name is Marcus, and you're watching Marketing Madness, the Bluefish vlog. Now, lately, I've been asked several times about the history of bluefish, where the name comes from, how I came up with the logo, and what we're trying to accomplish. Let's start with the name. When I moved to Lower Alabama from DC in 2004, I didn't have a job. I tried a few different things, and one of those things included starting up a bookstore that I promptly shut down 10 months after starting. The timing for that project was perfect. Well, a perfect storm. Barnes & Noble opened about the same time, and Amazon also released the Kindle. So after 10 months and lots of blood, sweat, and tears, I made the decision to shut down the bookstore. I tell you this to let you know that shutting down a business is not a failure. Not trying, adjusting, pivoting, etc. is where you fail. In 2006, I walked into David's Counterculture in Gulf Shores and offered to build them a website. They became my very first client, and thus begins my journey in advertising. I worked without a name for almost two years, but in 2008, I was at a friend's house. Her name is Teth Lee, and she used to be the owner of This, That, and The Other magazine in Fairhope. We were sitting in her home office talking about ideas for a name when we hopped on the internet and started poking around trying to get some inspiration. I was looking for something that had a tie to our coastal community here on the Gulf Coast. So when we found ourselves on Dr. Seuss's website looking at one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish, I knew I had a match. My favorite color is blue. Fish are definitely a tie to our Gulf Coast community. And at the time, my oldest two boys were enamored with Finding Nemo. It was a perfect fit. The icing on the cake was the logo. I believe Miles was about seven at the time. He had a Magna Doodle that he used to, he was in love with. And for those of you not familiar with Magna Doodle, it's similar to an Etch-a-Sketch, but you use a pen instead of the two knobs. It's a lot more user-friendly. He used to sit in front of the TV watching Finding Nemo and drawing fish on his Magna Doodle. So I gave him a sheet of paper and a pencil and asked him to draw me a fish. I traced that sketch with a marker, brought it into a design application called Macromedia Freehand, and made some minor edits to it the result was our first logo. Now the harder thing to talk about is what we're trying to accomplish. I very specifically remember having a dis discussion with Bill Sisson, the president and CEO of Mobile's Chamber of Commerce, about the lack of creative jobs in Mobile. We were talking about the brain drain and how the chamber was trying to address it. I told him that I wanted to create a business that worked on interesting projects that would be a fun place to work. My main motivation for doing so, my voice. I hated the idea that they would move somewhere else after school just to seek more interesting work. In the back of my mind, I always toyed with the idea of building a larger agency so that my boys would have a place to land if they wanted to stay nearby. But it wasn't until late 2016 that I really put a focus on building Bluefish. I woke up one morning and realized two things. My boys were all in school and did not require as much of me as before, and I was not getting any younger. If I wanted to see what I could do, then now was the day to get started. So in 2017, we hit the ground running and haven't looked back. In that time, we've increased gross revenue over 200%, and we've increased our team from two to 10. I often tell people that if we knew what it took to actually grow a business, we probably would not take it on. Fortunately, you only need to know what you need to know at that time. But learning has to be a constant if you want to run a business. Naming a business and coming up with a logo are great, but finding something that drives you to grow is the most important piece of the puzzle. It will keep you centered and focused when everything seems to be swirling down the drain. So if you're one of the 27,000 plus businesses in our area and things seem to be a bit out of control, make sure you find what drives you. And to wrap this up in a neat bow, it appears that at least one of my sons is considering Bluefish. If that comes together, I'll be extremely happy. Well, that's a wrap for this week. I want to thank you for checking in. Make sure to hit that like button. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And if you want to talk about how Bluefish can help you grow your business, just send us a message and we'll get the conversation started.